there the controller is off now completely off now i don't have any transmission no visuals <laughs> let's see what happens if it's just one is going to come back there is just following the path now let's see how accurate is going to be is it going to land on this landing pad it's not accurate the home point was right here how accurate is the artery return to home on this dji flip in this video i'm going to figure it out well the way i figure it out is always different the first method is we just take off and send it away and then press the auto return to home the place where i will take off is this landing pad here and then we have to figure it out if the drone is going to come back and land exactly on this landing pad but the way i do it is a bit different i will have to compare it different ways the first of all i will first of all i will take off from this landing pad send it away and press the auto return to home and second and bit interesting stuff which i'm going to do is i'm going to take off send it away and then I'm just going to switch off. I'm just going to switch off the controller and let's see what happens if the drone is still going to come back properly and land here on this landing pad. That is going to be really interesting to see. Well, on my channel, I always do this kind of stuff. I just don't do the things straight. I just always try to do zigzag and do them with a different way just to entertain you guys. So if you do like the video, please subscribe the channel, like the video and share the channel as well. So if you would like to do this, this kind of stuff, switch off the controller and wait for the drone to come back before you do that you have to make sure one settings in the controller setting just go to settings and here in the safety settings there's an option at the bottom advanced safety settings and here you can see in case of signal lost i am on return to home make sure you always on return to home if you are in descent or hover then the drone will just hover there or it will just land there so always if you want to try this kind of stuff make sure your drone is on return to home in case of losing the signals all right the, so the first attempt i'm going to do i'm going to put the drone here right in the middle so here now we will take off send it away and then press the auto return to home let's see how it goes then we will see how accurate is the landing while the drone is coming back all right let's start it's also weather is a bit windy so that also sometimes it does make effect and uh, the auto return to home is not 100% accurate because of the wind conditions all right let's take off home point updated. we got our home point we'll send it two three hundred meters away Seventy meters away. I think it's enough just to test the auto return to home accuracy. All right, I'm pressing the auto return to home. Return to home. And there we go. We have. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna cancel it because of my auto return to home settings they are on uh, hundred meters. I will have to reduce it, and I think fifty meters is fine. Right now, let me just make sure. So my auto return to home altitude is on hundred. I'm just bringing it to fifty because I don't need the drone to go that high all right pressing the auto return to home now return to is going to 50 meters altitude first and then it's going to come back home and there we have the ar auto return to home on this drone as well like the dji neo there is just following the path now let's see how accurate is going to be is it going to land on this landing pad We had few tests on this drone regarding uh, the stability while it's windy condition. So this drone is good. It's not bad at all. Landing. All right, there it's landing now. And let's see where it is going to land. My home point is has been shifted a bit. And let's see how it goes. All right, it's a bit out. It's not accurate. The home point was right here. The home point was right here on the landing pad and the drone has been shifted from there. It's not on the landing pad anymore. It is at least two feet away. 
I will give it one more try. On the second attempt, I will just take off. Then I will just adjust, adjust the drone right in the middle. Update the home point from the settings again. And let's try again if the drone can come back and land uh, in the middle. Let's see. All right. I just put it there again in the middle. Let's take off. Take off. Home point updated. All right, we have our home point updated, but I'm just going to shift it a little bit. Here, right now, it's almost right in the middle. So here, let's go to settings again. Update the home point. Home point updated again. So our home point is updated again. Now let's send it away and press the auto return to home and let's see. All right, so it's 80 meter away and that is enough to just test the auto return to home. It's going 50 meters up, increasing the altitude to 50 meters, and then it's coming back now. Let's see now on the second attempt when we updated the home point again from the settings, adjusted it properly. Is it going to land? Is it going to land properly now in the middle on this landing pad? Let's see. And the last. The last attempt which we are going to do is we are just going to send it almost six, seven hundred meters, one kilometer away. Then I'm just going to switch off the controller. Let's see how it goes. Let's see what will happen after that. All right. The second attempt. For the home point, again, <laughs> it's shifted. The landing pad is there and the drone is landing right there. Uh, it's even worse than before. So even even on the second attempt also, the auto return to home is not very accurate. It's almost two, three feet away. The weather conditions, they do depend because this drone is weighing only 250 grams. So the wind does make a lot of difference there. Drone when was coming back, it was facing the winds. Even when the drone was going that side also, it was facing the wind. So it definitely has something to do with home point. So the last attempt now, I'm going to put this drone again right in the middle. Now I'm going to take off, send this drone away. So the last attempt, I'm going to take off again, send this drone away and then just switch off the controller. Let's see what will happen if the drone will come back. And if it will come back, is it going to land exactly right in the middle like this on the landing pad? Well, on the normal auto return to homes, it was not accurate, but let's see when we switch off the controller and we lose the transmission completely, how accurate is going to be. All right, let's figure it out. Take off. Again, <laughs> again, it is windy. There the drone goes. Let me increase the altitude a bit. So when our altitude is already above the preset altitude for the auto return to home, then the drone is just going to maintain that altitude. But in case our altitude is down below the preset altitude, then it's going to go, then it's going to match with that altitude first and then come back home. So right now we are, our altitude is 72 meters. The drone is 390 meters away. Let me just see where is it exactly right now. All right. Let me just go to the grass area in case if anything goes wrong when I'm going to switch off the controller. If the drone does not come back, at least it will just land there. <laughs> on the grass, not on somebody's property. Alright, the drone is 300 and... 
So the drone is 330 meters away. Let's see where is our home point. Our home point is there. I'm just going to switch off the controller now. Let's see. Uh, no, no. Return to home. There, the controller is off now. Completely off. Now I don't have any transmission. No visuals. <laughs> Let's see what happens if this drone is going to come back. And if it comes back, is it going to land on that landing pad? That is going to be interesting as well. All right, I can't hear anything at, at the moment. It should not take more than a minute. Because it was not very far, it should not take more than a minute to come back home. All right, I can hear, I can hear the drone. <laughs> there it is. There is the drone coming back. Now let's see where it is going to land. DJI technology is amazing. All the models, even if it's Neo or if it's Mini or any drone, the drone knew where to come back. It's already coming back now. Let's see where it is going to land. All right. The landing is again not accurate. The landing pad is there and drone is landing here and it's even more worse. <laughs> so the distance even it has been increased even more than before. So this was the auto return to home experiment on this DJI flip. I hope you liked it. We tried it with the different ways to see if the drone can land exactly on that landing pad. That, that unfortunately did not happen. Also we tested if we switch off the controller the drone will come back properly. At least it will come back home. The landing is not very accurate, but the drone is back at least. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please subscribe my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.